Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a cold call breakdown. Many of you may be wondering what is a cold call breakdown. I am actually just going to be breaking down a cold call. Now, I am not personally cold calling, but I do have VAs for that. So they are going to be the ones making the cold calls. I am very excited about this because you get to get real in my business and really personal. You get to hear how my VAs do their cold calls, what it sounds like. But without further ado, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You want to be the first ones to be notified when I drop a video. So let's jump into it. Name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Hey, Dwight. Good morning. How are you doing today? My name is Paula with Help Price. I was just calling about this uh, house we believe you own on North you we wanted to see if you'd be interested in selling the house or if you'd be considering a cash offer on it if okay so i'm gonna just pause it right there only because she sounds a little down in the beginning of her conversation and so far that is the only thing that i would tell her that she would need to improve on if you are please give us a call and we'll be happy to hello Okay, I'm going to pause it there because she did really well. I taught, I, I taught her myself. She said it'll probably be in a couple months from now. And she asked him why. May I know the reason why I want to sell it in a few months from now? What we would like to know is why don't you want to sell right now? What is holding you back from selling? Well, several reasons. One, I just need some repairs, which I can't afford. It started when my father owned it. Repairs? Perfect. This is a property that we definitely be interested in. So let's keep the conversation going. I'm very, very excited about this he one. had a problem with it after his death. I had my own financial problems. So I think the best thing I can do is sell it the best I can and move to a smaller residence. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I see. Okay, well, I guess that... After everything he says, she is actively engaging in the conversation. So if you're making cold calls or when you're making cold calls, you want to make sure you're actively engaging in the conversation. If they say that somebody passed or um, something happened to them, I always want to show your sympathy and your condolences when you are talking to these people because these are real life people. Yes, that is the best thing to do right now, huh? I think so. Yeah, I I've tried other things like getting a home improvement loan or one of her first mortgages, but I was turned down for both of them. Oh, no, really? Okay, yeah, well... We have bad credit. I guess that's to be expected. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's a good thing I was able to talk to you today because I think we can... We might actually help you with that. I know that it's probably like a, a really bad thing for you right now, but the good thing about our company is that, well, we... Uh, buy the houses as is. We don't ask you to make any repairs to the property anymore. So the problem that you're having with the repairs in the house, we can go through that ourselves, actually. Also, we pay all cash and we cover all of the closing costs as well if you're having some problems with that. Are there any mortgages or liens that... Gave out the benefit. She heard that he is having problems with the house. It needs a lot of repairs. And he doesn't have the time to fix all of this. Knowing that this is a worry and a problem for him, she's just giving him a peace of mind, letting him know that, okay, it's okay. We will take care of everything that you need. Don't worry about anything. Is that needed to be paid off with this too? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, not really. Oh, okay. All right, that's wonderful. Okay, well then, in terms of the condition of the house here, um, how is it in general? Well, <clears throat> Actually, need several repairs. One thing, the, the back, the gable, um, needs, it's been damaged. I haven't been able to do anything about the gutters. And um, that might affect my homeowner's insurance was canceled because of it. And not only that, 
it needs a, a bathroom needs a new remake. There's new carpeting on the floor. It needs painting and it, well, it's I would say substantial repairs. I felt I had an idea about selling, but I was just saying whether you were an individual or a, a broker should see sold to it. I was thinking yeah. individual chances are wants to move in and search. She's place, actively engaging. Short amount of time, he wouldn't be interested in pouring money and things into improving it, even though it could be a good, it could be a very good value. Yeah. Or, or an investor could get it and if you make those repairs and sell it for a good price. <laughs> the only thing is, it's got to be a price I sell it for that I like. Like I mean a $100, $1,000 category. Oh. Hopefully not even in the 200000 Hopefully. Hopefully so. Well, we will do our best to look into this, definitely, since you mentioned that there are some several repairs needed. We might have to check out your house ourselves, too, and see what work is needed to be done here. But do not worry too much. Uh, let's see here. How about... Up so, I like the fact that she said, you know, we will see... She did not give him a firm answer as far as, yes, we will be able to meet you at your number. She said we will go over the numbers, um, considering it does need a lot of repairs done to the house. You know, we will see what we can do. So I like the fact that she did not make a promise. It's not good to make promises to these sellers, especially ones that we cannot keep. Updates, since there are some several repairs needed, were there updates that have been made? beforehand like maybe five years oh no i don't think it's been real so i'm gonna pause it right there even though there are several repairs needed have any updates been made within the past five years updates to speak of except for the bathroom we had a one of those um most bath fitter baths uh, put put in about eight years ago oh eight years ago i see okay all right now how many beds and baths does this house have Three bedrooms and one bath. Okay, three beds, one bath. Okay, and you mentioned there are really no mortgages or liens needed to be paid here. Okay, also, because typically we can close within 30 days or, you know, the most convenient time for you. Do, does the 30 days, does, would that work for you? Would that time frame work for you? Well, as I said, I, I, I can't do anything just now. I, I have a few other things I have to do before I can even think of leaving it. For one thing, got to get rid of a bunch of stuff here, find a new place to live, which I can afford. I'm hoping mm -hmm. it's going to be less than the price I get because I have a reason. Here's mm -hmm. something else I don't tell everybody. See, uh, I don't have any um, retirement portfolio like most people my age do. What I'm going to do with the money that's left over was put in the bank for my retirement whenever it comes. Oh, I see that too. Yeah, okay. All right, well. Let's... Okay, so we're going to pause it. What he's saying is he has to have somewhere to go. He has to find somewhere to stay. So he wants to get enough money that will be enough to buy him a new home that he doesn't have to make repairs to. There's a cool thing that we do within our business called a seller holdback or an escrow holdback. It just means that after closing, there's a period of time which we give the seller to stay in the house, um, to actually find a place to stay, maybe 30 to 45 days. And then after they find somewhere to stay within that time frame, we will then schedule another closing date and then they will get the remainder of the money. Like I said, we can close at any time, the most convenient time for you, because, you know, I know everything that you're going through now that you've mentioned all of it. And yes, I think that it is uh, a tough time for you. But again, we will do our best on our end here. So, yeah, just um, let's talk about the asking price that you have. Do you have a ballpark figure in mind for the house? I'm moving to get at least $300,000. I've been, yes, it's from other places like, Offer pad and other thing. Some of them say it can be as much as three hundred forty thousand. One who said four hundred thousand. I don't think it would be that much. You know, that'd be nice. But I hope to get at least three hundred thousand. At least rock yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, you did mention that there are some repairs needed to be done. So we'll probably. Good girl. <laughs> She humbled him down real, real quick. Yeah, you won 300000 but you did mention that there are many repairs that need to be made to your house. It's a good thing to just bring them down back to planet Earth if they haven't done any type of updates within the past five years. We'll 
probably expect a little bit less than the the ones that you're seeing maybe in the neighborhood if it is being sold for 340 or like 400 but yeah we will we'll see about that don't worry we will do our best to give you a fair price maybe a little bit over than 300k if we can we just okay so this is probably the part where I wouldn't have said that. I'm not going to say we never want to give them over their asking price, but 300000 to 340000 that's a big jump considering he needs a lot of repairs. And I probably would not have said it. I don't think she should have said it at all. It's definitely something that we need to work on one hour in. We just really need to check everything out here. All right, now, can I get an email address so that we can send you more information about our company here? Yeah, my, uh, my email address is my name in lowercase letters. We'll say that one more time. At, what's the website? All right, thank you very much. All right, well, I guess those are all the information that I need for now. Would this be the best phone number to call you back on, just in case we need to call you back? Uh, yes, but you might have to leave a message. I'm sort of in and out. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. Yes, we will make sure to leave a message first and then you can just call us back because we don't really know when you're busy or when you're free. So that's totally fine. Okay, well, again, thank you for all of the information. Uh, the next step would be for us to review all the information that you gave us and then we will run some numbers like promised and we will be able to make you uh, a fair offer. So you'll be receiving a, a call back from our home buying specialist. Her name is Tiara. That's her name. And that would probably be within 24 to 48 hours, okay? Yeah, but I want to remind you, I, mm. I, this, this, even if I do agree to some kind of agreed sale or whatever, it's not going to be right away. It's going to be a, I maybe a few months. Yes. For, mm -mm. Don't worry about that, yes, uh, because I will be explaining that to our home buying specialist, and we will probably be just updating you or calling you back for any updates, maybe after, I don't know, when, when do you think, like after three months, four, probably? Uh, I think three might be a safe guess. Yeah, around three months. Okay, all right, that's no problem. Good. Well, we will be calling you back then, uh, and we will also be sending you an email about that. And yeah, do you have any questions before anything else? No, I don't think so. Not much. All right. Okay. Well, everything is going to be better for you. Don't worry, Dwight. We're here to help you. Uh, just in case, just keep your lines open. All right. Thank you very much, Dwight, and I hope you enjoy your day today, okay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Overall, that was a wonderful call. I am so proud of her. She does well all the time, but that was, that was the script that we use, guys. That's exactly... What we say, that's how our calls go. That's how our call flows should go. She built a lot of rapport with the seller. So I am very, very glad about that. She really got to the root of the problem. She found out all of his pain points and he's looking to move, why he hasn't moved. Just everything was in very, very good detail. She took very good detail notes. And overall, that was a... Eight minute call, eight minute and 40 seconds to be exact. That is someone that's motivated. That is someone who is in distress. That is someone that needs to move. If you guys love this video, like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video.